Yo, what's going on, Jammers? Welcome to another episode of Jam TV. Today, I want to give you guys the official Bone Thugs and Harmony Biggie Smalls Studio Session Breakdown. From when all my niggas came in there, from when it was just me and Big, the whole nine yards. Just so we can get the official story out. You dig? All right, y'all ready? It's Bone and Biggie, Biggie. It's Bone and Biggie, Biggie. First off, I get a call from Steve Lobel. Busy, I need you at the motherfucking studio right now. Get to the studio right now, right now. I'm waking up. <clears throat> I just got finished getting my brother out of jail. I'm like, for what? What's going on? He's like, I got Biggie here. Get in the limo and come to the studio. I'm like, all right, it's on. So I hop in the car and shit, I get in the limo. I got Capo in the limo with me. He was the only one that was with me at the time. So, we was in LA together. He got into a little bit of trouble at home. I had to bring him out there with me. So we hop in the limo. We get there to the studio. As we walk up the steps and get into the studio, immediately I noticed Capo got on a Tupac shirt. Now, I don't remember if I told him this is who he was going to the studio to go to go do some music with. So I just let it slip my mind. So when he walk in, Lil C's immediately zeroes in. So Capo looking at Lil C's, Lil C's looking at Capo, Capo looking at Lil C's. Biggie and me, we kind of felt the tension, but we really wasn't them, them the little niggas, them our little niggas, you know what I'm saying? So we boss talking, you know, just talking about the song. I'm like, play the track, let me hear it. He rolling up weed by the, you know, uh, got the weed on the um, on the board. You listen, I'm like, that's hot. And then he played another one, I'm like, that's hot too, that's hot too. So everything he was playing for me, I was ready to just jump on and light up. Cause I already knew what I was gonna say. Must be close to the Armageddon. I mean, I already knew what I was gonna say. And if you remember, I'm the one along with my homegirl Silky Fine who orchestrated the Tupac song who put that whole thing together and got Tupac in the studio. So me being first at the studio at the Biggie session, I felt, I felt the balance of the universe, for lack of a better word. I felt the balance. So from that point on, C's and Capo, they just keep looking at each other. It got to the point to where it was just, be, it was beginning to be so intense between them two that I had to send Capo in the limo. I just gave him a bunch of money. I'm like, go kick it, don't do nothing stupid. Go kick it, bring the limo back in three, four hours. So he leave, you know, got his head over his shoulder. C's ain't backing down, he ain't backing down. So he walk out, no altercations, nothing like that. And um, turn the track on. So we, we drink it. Pouring a Hennessy, I got my own bottle. You know what I'm saying, we smoking weed. Because we waiting on Lay, Cray, to get to the studio to be a part of this song. You know, we waiting on So we sitting back, and finally, after about 45 minutes of Biggie and me getting hot and drinking, the niggas finally show up. And when they show up, they show up with everybody. Like, they had all of Mo Thug out in LA. And Mo Thug used to be an army back in the days. Like, it was so many of them niggas. And it probably still is. Shouts out to all the Mo Thug artists out there. Keep it going. So everybody getting into, get into the studio and whatnot. So, you know, Diddy like, well, that's what we called him, I think Puffy. I think we called him Puffy then. So Diddy, he was like, okay, let's go, let's go. And you know, I, I had one eye open, but my boys were so drunk and I was fucked up. But we just popped up and I jumped in there first. And I just laid that bitch out, one take. One take, I did that shit in one take. I said, yo, you want me to do some dubs to it? He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Put another one on there, put another one on there. And then I put the other one on there. And then he was like, you done. He was like, that's it. Now, my boys, when he got them in there, he kept working them and working them and working them and working them. And I had done another song with Diddy. And he has a 
a tendency to really work an artist to their fullest potential. That's where his gut is. And it's his passion right there. And I think that's a cool place. That's a cool place. If that's what gets your juices revved up, then do your thing. So anyway, I knocked the whole verse out. Just da -da 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 And rip it. We go right back to getting toasty. You hear me? So we drinking, we still kicking. Now here come Lay. Lay get up there. He do his this. And actually, I think Crazy went next. Yeah, I think Crazy went next after me. No, you know what? Lazy went next. So Lazy get up there. Lazy get into the studio. He take one take, take two takes. It take Lazy about 10 takes, but he get it all the way down pat. And Diddy is happy with what it was. It took about, it took Lay about 45 minutes, 50 minutes to just complete it. It took him a second to write it. So I say in less than two hours, Lazy was pumped up, ready to go and done. Crazy the same way, he got up in there, he perfected it, crazy has his own way of working. We're all different, like we all have our own way of going out of track, and it works. And then crazy got us in there, cause you know, crazy our hook master. So crazy got us in there, he was like, okay B, you ready? I'm like, I'm ready, he was like, repeat after me. I'm like, all right, I'm ready. He's like, this bone and piggy, piggy, this bone and piggy, piggy, this bone and piggy, piggy, this bone and piggy, piggy. He was like, and, and I said, you want me to do the high voice? Which one want me to go uh, up, falsetto, or high? He was like, go up. This bone and piggy, piggy. I said that right there, he was like, yeah. Right there, he was like, lay, hit the deep voice. And put it all together, and they just, and then, and then Cray said, okay, now what we're gonna do is no notorious uh, And he just, and it started piecing together and coming together like glue, you hear me? So after we got that together, you know, it started getting late. Everybody started winding down, so we started taking pictures. The homie Stevie J was in the studio. All the Mo Thug was in the studio. Lil Bell, of course, was there. Diddy, of course, was there. It was a whole bunch of other niggas out there. That it, man, the studio had to be about 60, 70 niggas in there. Heated heavy. Like, you know, all Mo Thugs, Everybody was strapped up in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the part that they really don't want to say. I know they want to keep the shit clean, but we was in there with gun guns. So we finished everything up and we all sitting back and we like, okay, big, it's your turn. Go blaze that shit up. He looked, he was like, <laughs> I'm about to take this shit home. <laughs> I, said, I said, cool, cool. And everybody else was like, cool. You know what I mean? And it was such love and it was such respect. During that entire session, everybody wrapped up. It was nothing but real, real, real love. And then after that, we met him at the awards ceremony and we all took the picture together with Fat Joe and everybody else. And I believe that that was the last time that we got to see them. And when that tragedy happened and he got shot, the head of my security, Larry Luau, drove Faith to the hospital. And his whole squad was doing security at the Vibe party that night. So it's just peculiar how things come together. But that's the real night where we rock with Bone and Biggie, Notorious Thugs. Please make sure if you like this episode, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed, boom, boom, press the subscribe button. Uh, that way you can get notifications and things of that nature when a new episode comes on. I want to thank you very much for tuning in to Jam TV. You can stream Carbon Monoxide, iTunes, on all platforms. The record's doing great. I want to thank you guys for all that you guys are doing. Also, if you want to get the new face mask, if you want to get the new shirts, jcastmusic.com. You go there and you'll see everything there. And you can get anything that you want as far as Jam TV to represent the channel and just roll with us on this movement. I wanna thank everybody. Take good care of yourself. On behalf of myself, my wife, my children, Jam TV.